Okay, I don't have a real carpet chisel or nothing, but I'm gonna see if I can shove this down over the tack strip and down in the groove between the tack strip and where the marble tile starts. I got to where it's, where it's nipping down in to the groove between the tack strip and the tile. And I'm gonna just press it out. This is taking me a while, but I think it's gonna be well worth it when I'm done. Okay, I was able to lay this out and let it sit overnight and try to relax a little bit because when it's rolled up, it kind of gets a tendency to have a memory to want to roll back up. So I laid this out and uh, I just now came in and I set these toolboxes down on there. They're kind of heavy. I think I'm gonna cut this one right to size. I'm gonna cut it right to this template because I got the boxes on it and it's holding it in place for me. Now, the reason I'm cutting this out at this stage, I need this chunk right here. I'm gonna use this chunk as gonna be the sides for my steps and the uh, any place I need small pieces like uh, the kick panel. I've got these panels here. I gotta re, uh, redo them, peel the carpet off these and go ahead and put the new piece of carpet on. So, that's what I gotta do there. Um, and I need that piece that's in there to do that. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> so I got this all tore off here. I'm gonna use this piece for a pattern. I'm gonna work my way from big pieces down to smaller pieces just because once, if I cut that big piece to do a small piece, then I no longer have a big piece if I need a big piece. So just to make it simpler for me and I don't have to sit down and you know draw out a diagram or anything or you know figure out exactly what piece goes where, I'm just, I just start from the bigger pieces and work my, my way down. So that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to check and see if I can use that piece there. I'm going to start selecting the bigger pieces that I know will, will fit and try to get the most use out of this material as I can get. I still got to do these two pieces too. Those are the stairs. So I'll lay everything out and figure out what I can get out of what. I might wind up with an extra chunk of carpet I could use somewhere else. It's a 5 by 8 remnant. That might work out somewhere as nice. We'll see. So I almost cheaped out, uh, I should say lazied out, I wasn't going to redo this piece. Let me show you where it goes. Goes up and under here, goes up over there and it hides that those wires. From here, you can't see it no more. You know, even standing in the bus, you really, it's hidden, I can't see it. But then I looked at the window, there's that little window there and I took a different view. Out of here outside the bus, if you look in the window, I don't know if you can see it, there's probably too much glare to show it on the video. But as I look in there, I see that wire, I see all that stuff, and it's just not a nice view. So I'm going to put that kick panel back in after all. So I got my pieces laid out, all the templates, it looks like that's a pretty effective use of material. Uh, that piece right here, the bigger piece, I'm going to wind up trimming that down for the stairwell cover. My next step is to take off this piece and uh, see where I can get it from. I think I can get it from that piece over there, the one that was, wasn't quite big enough to cover the st stairwell cover. Okay, I gotta pick some of these fuzzies off of here. Not that they're gonna be in the way too much, but some of these are a little heavy. So I'm gonna work on, on getting them out. I'm not gonna worry about every staple. It's almost like, I feel like I'm doing a haircut or something. They're coming off pretty quick and easy. The piece I got over there, my, my leftover piece is a little bit small. It's not gonna matter because it just tucks up in there. You'll never see it. This will be up back here. There's no way, even if you're crawling under there, you don't see it. So I'm not going to worry about that. Well, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to cut out my pieces. I'm going to start putting this together. 
I'm gonna try something out with these staples. They're 9 16 so I'm gonna see how far in they, they go. Shoot it on the side. Oh, they go all the way in. <laughs> wow. I guess I don't want to hit myself with a staple gun because it really spanks them in there. I think I know. Something like this. And this piece comes up like this. Wow, getting around that corner is going to be tough. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I think that caught it pretty good. Now if I roll it like this, I'm trying to make this corner look a little sharper, if I can. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just shove it and roll it and tug on it. Now that I got that one side caught, push it that way, pull it up this way. Well, it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands right about now. But you know what? If I I think that looks pretty good. I think I got it. Pretty, pretty nice. I think that'll work. <laughs> so that means this corner is next. Roll it down around. And I want to do it in such a way that I don't have a, a bump and a bubble. So what I'm going to do is, is keep pushing it that way. And then this guy just gets folded down around like this. Yeah, I think I got it. I think that looks pretty decent. Now we're going to pop it up in there. That little spot there, that'll be hidden. That'll be hidden. I really, man, I'll, I think I'm going to trim that with my knife. But I can, I can shear it right against the, uh, right against that plywood. Not bad. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, these are the staples I'm using, the T50s. They're 9 16 uh, they come with your typical arrow staple gun, you know, the one that's got the big handle and you got to squeeze it like crazy, like a Russian weightlifter. And, it, you know, if you got to do a whole bunch of them, it, it gets to be a lot of squeezing. That's a real workout. But this little air stapler that I bought, like, gosh, I can't even remember how many years ago, takes all that stress out of it. You know, it just shoots them in, it buries them down nice, uh, and it's real easy. So I wind up using it. And you can't see the staples or anything. They're hidden in there. They're buried by the carpeting, so it all works out pretty good. All right, let's go install it. So this should be pretty easy. It just tucks up in there. Hopefully I get a good shot of that. <laughs> so, I just gotta slide it in here. Roll it up in. That's just about it. I'm just gonna let it sit there. Now if you look in the window, you won't see the wires anymore. I think that's going to work out okay. Looks good. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Okay, so I did a very impressive little uh, little bit of video of me putting this thing all together. But anybody see anything wrong with this picture? <laughs> when I put this in the bus, this is the side it'll be facing. <laughs> I got a little carried away and stapled it backwards. All right, I guess I'll stop whining about it and fix it. Okay, sometimes mistakes aren't all bad. At least I figured something out. So these are the old staples, the little teeny one, and that's the staple I'm using, a T50. So I've got a lot more faith in these staples, if nothing else. I mean, pulling them is being a pain. And it's kind of stronger than the carpet, see, because it's tearing the back of the carpet, the actual fiber. So I'm not going to panic over that. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to staple it. I'll probably staple it a bunch more now since I got all these torn out spots, but it's gonna hold up and I'll fix this mistake and try to be a little more careful in the future. So it's gonna sit on here like this. I gotta fold it over, make sure I get it in there pretty good. So I'm thinking the first place how to do that is staple it here so that I get it in that crease nice and tight. 
And I'll do both sides of that and that'll actually help hold, believe it or not, that'll hold the wood too. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just gotta make sure I get things edged up right and have the folds where I want them. Make sure I don't staple it cockeyed so that when I run it, it runs out, you know, when I, as I go. Especially not doing this kind of thing. This is almost more like doing a pulse with carpeting. Okay, so I got that pretty dead nice. I think that's pretty nice. Rub it out so the staples, you can't see the staples. They virtually disappear when you do that. I'm starting to middle work my way both ways. Let's see how it looks from the other side. Oh, I think that's going to look good. I am going to throw a couple staples in the field, just so it doesn't bounce around. Nothing much, just a couple. Try it like that. Rub it out a little bit. Try to get the get the cover. You guys will see them a little bit if you know where to look, but generally you're not going to notice anything. So that's going to go in there. See that spot right there? I wish I had cut that a little better, but once that's sitting there, you'll never see that. Same thing on the top part. The way this gets wedged in there, you never see it. So I think this looks pretty good. It's pretty solid. Hmm. Ah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Okay, I'm happy with this. Even though I had, let's see, I did it, made a mistake, had to undo it, did it again, broke the thing apart, put it back together. Came out okay anyway. Okay, now I gotta cut out the stringer parts, the parts that go up along the steps, which of course would be a giant pain in the neck, but I've got these templates and I'm gonna take full advantage of them. Um, they're a little wonky in that they're, they, the, the templates seem a little, a little bit like they're moved around a little bit or something. But I got them placed here. This is one for the left side. And the left side just went to the doors here. They have this part up here with a drawer track. It's kind of a, door, a drawer track that the um, stairwell cover rides on. And that goes here. So I gotta cut out like a one inch slot. But for the most of this, I'm gonna follow it. Mimic that exactly. I might wind up using a straight edge a little bit just to make like that straight cut. It'll be straighter than trying to follow the carpet. This part goes on the opposite side. And I'm gonna change it a little bit. So I'm gonna leave a little extra material here so that'll lap up over the top edge and I, there's not going to be a bullnose there. And that last piece we just made with the angle pattern, that's going to wind up covering that. That meets that wall to floor and it's going to come over top of it. And I think that'll wind up looking pretty good. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to work on making these cuts. Okay, so I got this trimmed out. It's pretty close, but you know the pattern didn't come out perfect. I am a little high here. Right here I got a gap. I don't know if you can see that. No, I don't think you can, but that means I got to cut that one and I'll have to cut that one too a little bit. Okay, I got to do some serious trimming around this, but that's okay. And these scissors are working really great. They're uh, a Weiss, a Crescent Weiss. I didn't know Crescent bought Weiss, titanium coated, but there's working good on this carpet. I'm just going to give it a little trim. Uh, it's just a little too bunchy there. Mostly on this one end. And I'm going to see if I can get it to fit better. I'm going to have to give it another trim. The thing about the scissors is I can cut a lot closer with them. Um, obviously, the knife works great too, but sometimes you need scissors. But don't ever run with scissors. I learned that in first grade from Sister Cecile. Yeah, I think that's looking better. All right, well, I gotta trim this in a little bit more. Then I'm gonna staple it all down. Okay, guys, <laughs> what's that? Ugly. I'm gonna cut a piece. I'll trim it to fit and stick it in there and see what it looks like. Well, it ain't perfect. 
you can see a little line there. I see it more, I think, I think I see it more through the camcorder than I do in person. But you know what, stepping in the bus, no one's ever gonna notice that. And I really, I want this for fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Got both sides on. This side went on a little better. It looked worse at first. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to fight with it. But it came out okay. And then this, well, not this bull nose, because this gold, I don't think, well, I don't know, maybe gold will go with it. Maybe gold will kind of bring that, I don't know, colors aren't my thing. Anyway, but I need a big bull nose, because I gotta cover it all the way down to here. I want up a little, little low, but that'll look good once that's on there. I think it's silver bull nose. I could be wrong. There's no other silver in here. Maybe black. Maybe I could find a black bull nose. That would probably look best. Okay, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put here. I got that bigger piece. I guess what I'll do is take this off. So think of what I'm gonna do here is a roll. I'm gonna roll it over, eh, about three quarters of an inch or an inch of lap. And then I'm gonna staple that down. Obviously I'm gonna flip it over, of course. Who knows, maybe I'll forget again. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, so I'm tucking that over like that. I'm trying to press it in a little bit so I get kind of a crease, like folding a piece of cardboard almost. Then I'm gonna lay it in here. And I'll do both sides. So hopefully that one stays. I got a crease there, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna stay real good. It looks, looks like it's trying to fold back to its natural position. So this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Hopefully when I get done rolling and creasing this, it's the right width. Let's see, if I get it like that, get this, it's still a little too too wide maybe. I want when it flies, slides open, it's gonna hide the track and everything because it's just the carpet's gonna be there. I think that'll be kind of neat if I can pull that off. So, I'm gonna keep rolling that back a little bit. My other problem is I got limited clearance under here and I don't want to wind up with something that's gonna bind up. All right, so, yeah, that's pretty good. I can slide it back a little bit. Can't see nothing there. Well, you couldn't anyway, you know? Uh, I'm worried about how it's gonna look coming in the door, but that doesn't matter because this will never be open when you're coming in the door. So, I guess it doesn't really matter. So if I staple that down tight there, and staple this down tight here, that should hold me pretty good while I... So that's what we're gonna try that. I got it back far enough. So I got it staple tacked there. Sweep sweep that out over to the other side. I'm gonna put a staple over here. Now I'm just gonna work my way forward on both sides. Let's see how it works out here. So now I'm stapling through two actual layers of the carpet because I got it rolled rolled under. I'm just gonna keep working it back. Now I gotta worry about what I'm gonna do on the end here. And I think what I'm gonna do is fold it down under. I'll have to staple all the way along the edge and then tuck it and roll it under. And then I can put the, uh, oh, where'd it go? This guy, this guy goes on front of that so he can draw it out. It's got these two little handles here. Not sure exactly, this looks like something somebody made at some point and put it on here. Probably after the motorized gizmo quit. <laughs> That's probably what happened. So, okay, so I gotta trim this roll on the end because I don't wanna have to have it all being all bunchy there. I guess I'll use my scissors for that. All right, now I can tug down tight on that. Get a couple staples in it. So probably what I gotta try out now is see if this will roll back and forth without grabbing. Well, it's grabbing a little bit to figure out what to do about that. It goes in, comes out, but it seems like, yeah. How am I gonna, how am I gonna tighten that down? Right there on these corners, this one corner wants to peel up and I can't get in there with the staple gun. Oh boy, how do I fix that? This side doesn't do it. Well, I think what I'm gonna have to do I don't want to deal with taking this whole thing out and stapling it that way. I'm going to take this and cut it. Get rid of that extra bunchy stuff. Laying flatter now. I still can't get back there and staple it down. I'd really like to. Just 
tight as I can get in there. I can't. Oh, maybe that'll do it. Oh, well, it's pretty good. Well, let's see what happens. I keep the junk off here. Oh, I think that did it. That fixed it. Yep, didn't try to peel it up again. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a row of staples right across there. Let me show you. Yeah, underneath the section of floor here, it slides in. That was grabbing a little bit, but I think I got most of that taken care of now. Thank goodness. I think. And this was bunched up, bunching up there, so I just trimmed it with the scissors. This one doesn't seem to be doing that, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to put a row of staples here just to hold this down. I'll pick this up in another video. I'll show you what I get all finished once I get the carpet put down in the bedroom and everything. I think it's going to look pretty good. I, I like the color. It certainly looks cleaner. My goodness, that old carpet was, was ratty. So I can't wait to get this cleaned up, set those uh, carpets uh, couches down. So, well, if you got any comments or questions, feel free. Uh, like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till the next one.